hello everyone so in this uh, video we are going to discuss about how we are going to work with the ejp uh, queries that means jp ejp uh, queries which is called uh, uh, eql that means uh, ejp query language okay in the last video we have discussed how we are going to retrieve the data uh, from the oracle tables using jp queries and we used create named query so what else we have because as I mentioned, we have a create named query and we have another method called create query, which you can provide the write your own query. Okay. So let's try with create query. Okay. What? Uh, let's do the same thing. What is there in the student dot find all? It is nothing but select star from student information. Select now from student. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, instead of named query, I'm going to use create query create query and here instead of calling the named query I'm giving the direct query itself okay so basically what is happening is create O from students O, o is nothing but it is allies name for the student in, in in this language you can say object reference okay so when you access O you will get the student information okay let's deploy this and run and we'll see whether we are getting the same response it has to return five records okay is it done uh, okay deployment is done let me run the uh, client which we created okay so right click and run okay see it is the same thing the thing is how we are going to handle it because it is preferred way to use the create query because we cannot keep adding the named queries in into the entities okay it's a better way is uh, write your own queries under create query model okay uh, okay I just printed the values let's create a loop and to print the student information student okay my student list I'm gonna print the data so what we can simply do is okay, students so I let me override the two string method to view the data right click go to source and override methods here and choose two string okay okay why it is not returning everything Okay, so let me write manually. So what I can simply say uh, string s is equal to get get for name. go to the client so in inside the uh, loop let's print the student so I'm going to print the student and make sure we made some changes make sure you will deploy the changes before you test the application go to deployments and wait for some okay deployment is done let's go to our client let's run this and we'll see what is gonna happen Right click and run. See, you'll have all the information, all five student information, Charles and uh, Emily, Doms and Robert, everything. Okay, this is the other way of doing fetch operation using the create query. Okay, and there is other way which is nothing but create native query. Okay, 
so create native query we can discuss in a separate uh, uh, video maybe we can discuss in the next video uh, just try this and let me know if you guys have any clarification and um, we'll discuss uh, something deeper in the next video and thank you i hope you guys enjoy the video please do subscribe thank you